Welcome to the Camtasia Tutorials. In this video, I'll walk you through the basics of recording your screen, then editing and sharing your video. Let's get started! Right now, you're in the Camtasia Editor. The editor is made up of the timeline, where you can arrange and edit your clips, the Tools panel, where your media is stored, along with shapes, animations, effects, and more, the Canvas, where you position, resize, and preview your media, and the Properties panel, where you fine-tune your media and effects. To start a recording, click the Record button at the top of the Tools panel. This hides the editor and opens the Camtasia Recorder. The Camtasia Recorder can record your entire screen, webcam, microphone, and system audio. Click to toggle on and off, and select the arrow next to each to customize their settings. If you're on a Mac, the recorder looks a little different. Use the toggle buttons to enable or disable screen recording, webcam, microphone, and the system audio. System audio is the sound that comes from your computer. Click the arrows next to each to customize their settings. When you're ready, click Record, and Camtasia will count down until the recording begins. Hi everyone, this is a quick tutorial on how to use Google Drive to upload a file and copy the link and send it to anyone that needs the file. Thanks for watching. When you're finished recording, click the Camtasia Recorder icon, then the Stop button. And if you're not happy with your recording, choose Delete to try again. If you're on a Mac, click the Camtasia icon in the Apple menu bar, then click Stop Recording. The capture automatically appears in the Media Bin, on the Canvas, and on the Timeline, where the top track is audio captured from your microphone, and the bottom track is screen video and system audio. To preview the recording, click the Play button or press the space bar. To jump to a point in the video, Click on the timeline, or click and drag the playhead to scrub through the video. If there's a mistake in the recording, drag a handle on the playhead to select it, and click Cut to remove it. A stitched line appears to show where the media was removed. If you cut too much or too little, click Undo to try again. If you make a selection and want to bring the playhead back together, Double click the playhead. To remove extra footage from a recording, click and drag the end of a clip in. This is called trimming, and if you trim too much, simply drag the clip back to restore your video. To fine tune your editing, use the zoom slider to zoom in on the timeline. If you zoom too much or want to see your full project, click the magnifying glass to fit your entire project to the timeline. To add additional media, titles, or effects, drag them from the Tools panel to the Timeline. And to move media on the Timeline, click and drag. If you choose an effect, such as an animation or transition, clips on the Timeline highlight, showing you where they can be applied. When working on your project, use the Canvas to position and resize your media and the Properties panel to fine-tune your media and effects. When you're satisfied with your video, export it as a file on your computer, share it to popular web destinations, or upload it to video review and invite your colleagues to review the video. And when you're done working, don't forget to save your project. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.